academia. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the dark academia aesthetic and how you can incorporate it into your wardrobe. First, I'm going to talk about the dark academia aesthetic, what I think it entails, and then I will show you a few outfits, a few ways that you can wear it. But before we get right into today's video, hello if you're new here on this channel. My name is Fab and I make two fashion and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you like videos like this, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Now how I would describe the dark academia aesthetic is taking really the two elements of the name. First you've got the academia. It definitely romanticizes those ideas of academia like professors, school uniforms, also university life in particular those very old very traditional British universities with their gorgeous buildings and their quadrangles and their libraries. Also the city of Edinburgh in Scotland in particular seems to be a big inspiration for this aesthetic. For me in terms of dressing and fashion dark academia is very similar to preppy fashion Preppy fashion's root is definitely in American prep schools, Ivy League schools, and taking elements of those school uniforms. So it's definitely similar in that regard. The difference, I think, is it is darker, it's not as colourful, and that is where that dark element comes in. That comes to play definitely in the colour scheme. You've got your greys, your browns, deep reds and maroons, burgundy, black, mustardy colours, emerald colours, fallen colours, rust. And there are definitely fabrics and patterns that are really prominent in dark academia, like tweed, heritage check, plaid is a big one too. The dark academia has grown a lot in popularity, especially this year on TikTok. And if you are on TikTok like me, you know another massive thing this year is Harry Potter, in particular, Draco Malfoy. I just feel like everybody needs a bit of escapism this year, so everybody's just going back to their childhood, getting into Harry Potter again. So now, because of that, thing dark academia in my mind definitely incorporates elements of I guess Harry Potter like mystical magical elements I mean they go to Hogwarts which is a castle in Scotland so that, there's a connection there let's talk about how you can incorporate dark academia into your fashion and dark academia is just it's so perfect for fall and winter outfits the first way to incorporate it is definitely going for that school uniform look you want to incorporate elements of a school uniform but not make it look like you are wearing a school uniform if that makes sense. I don't know I personally wore a school uniform for many many years of my life so the last thing I want to do is look like I'm a school child but you can definitely take elements of that school uniform and make them fashionable. The first way to do this is really easy and that is with a classic white button down shirt. I do like the crisp white but of course with this dark academia aesthetic you could go for darker colors too. I have my go-to Ralph Lauren button down and if you're a subscriber you see this baby out once a week at least in my videos, but it is such a good style stable. I'm just able to create so many outfits with this white button down. Your shirt also doesn't have to have a traditional sort of pointed collar as well. I think Peter Pan, the rounded Peter Pan collars are just so cute, they're to die for. And collars in general in fashion are coming in, which I am very, very happy about. The next way to add to the school uniform look is with a pleated skirt. And it is quite fun to do a little tennis skirt style. The one I've gone for is this dark chocolate brown color and this is one of the little items I got off ASOS for this video and I'll leave the link in the description box down below for it. I try and link most things in my videos, the things that I can find at least. Now a fun trend that is coming in at the moment is knitted vests or sweater vests and the funny thing is that I have actually been on the lookout for sweater vests for like 18 months to two years now and nobody was making them. I just wanted sweater vests in my life. I don't know, I just felt like nobody else was wearing them and now bam, they're a trend. So now it's a thing to wear a sweater vest. And the fun thing about this sweater vest is it definitely has those old timey gray school uniform vibes, but it does have the fun ruffle, which makes it fashionable. So it's got the ruffle on the sleeves and it actually does have a ruffle around the neck too, but I thought it looked a little bit weird when it was standing up. I did like it actually ruffled, but like patted down, if that makes sense. I don't know, it looks cool. But then I also think it looks nice sort of tucked underneath. You can't really tell like it's not bulky or anything. 
thing that there's a ruffle there. So multiple ways to wear the sweater. Another cute little thing you can add to your dark academia outfits is a little tie around the neck. So this could actually be like a menswear tie or a school uniform tie, like a traditional knotted tie, I guess. I feel like that could be really fun, but even just a fabric tie or a ribbon in a little bow at the neck. I don't know, there's something about it. You have a full outfit, you add the little tie to the neck and just the whole outfit just has some spice. Next, to incorporate that dark academia professor vibe, I think this really starts with using those traditional fabrics and patterns like the tweed, the heritage check, the plaid, and specifically in those brown and fawny colors. I just feel like when you think of a professor, maybe with a bow tie and stuff, they're wearing brown. This is actually my dad's oversized blazer, like it was an oversized men's blazer, and then I made it into an oversized blazer for me. I took it in, I recently made a video about that if you're interested. I will leave a little card up here somewhere if you'd like to watch that video, but that was a fun little project. And I knew I wanted to convert this into a blazer for me because it has those really strong dark academia vibes with the little brown plaid going through and it has elbow patches. Which brings me to the next thing, which is elbow patches. We need more elbow patches in fashion. It just immediately gives that old timey university professor look. I also have my favorite Fjord Raven knit sweater. This is in those beautiful rust colors, which looks great in the dark academia aesthetic and da 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 it has elbow patches too. I think another fun thing to play with is cardigans. I have this little beige cardigan, but instead of wearing it in the traditional way, like arms through the armholes, I do like to drape it over my shoulders. I don't know, maybe just hold some books as well, look like I'm off to class. I just think it's such a cute look. Someone needs to make handbags that like look like old timey vintage books and you just hold it like this and you just walk around all day just looking cute. <laughs> I don't even want a handle on it. Like I literally want to carry it like this, like their books. Now I do want to talk about plaid and of course plaid in that dark academia color scheme. It just looks gorgeous. Plaid and tartan is just always such a classic look. I have this beautiful red plaid coat here. This is actually my sister's coat and it's over 10 years old and still going strong. But does this coat not scream Gryffindor vibes. Which brings me to incorporating in that little magical quality that I was talking about before. So you can totally do this with the actual clothes that you're wearing. I know some brands make some beautiful velvet clothing like with moons and stars and embroidery and things on them. But I think a really lovely and subtle way to do it too is with some little dainty jewelry. There's so many brands that make beautiful little necklaces with moons and star signs and things on them or rings. Also little hair accessories like clips or this cute little headband is a great way to bring it into the outfit subtly. And there you go, that is my take on the dark academia aesthetic. If you would like further inspiration, I've put together a little Pinterest board and I've linked that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.